Now, one of the things you can add to your video product is a report. A report can really, really add some good value. And a lot of people honestly want to have a report. They don't want to just watch videos. Can you see there's a big portion of your market will not want to wade through you know, two hours of videos to get those couple of nuggets that they're looking for. They want to speed read and find the main point. So what you'll find is a portion of your market will skim through the report, stop at the bits that are interesting to them, read those, then go and watch the corresponding videos. Without a report, you're instantly alienating those that portion of the market. And I know personally, if it's just videos, then I typically I won't buy because I, I don't want to spend two to three hours just watching video after video after video. I want the info and I want it now. So, you know, the, the report really, really caters to that market and really helps appeal. Combine it with the video and it provides very, very good value because you have a great package then. You know, you've got the video that appeals to pretty much everyone. And then for those, you know, super achievers who want to speed read through, they've got the report as well. So you can maximize your appeal with it. Now, we talked about outlining um, a few minutes ago. Now, do the same with your report. You can use the PowerPoints as the base in your video chapters. You know, you just, each video is a chapter by itself. The PowerPoints are the sort of base for it or whatever. And then you just flesh out each section. It doesn't really take a lot of time. What I find works very, very well is if you refer to the videos as and when necessary. So if the report refers to the videos and vice versa, then that encourages people to flip between the two. So you may sort of say in the report, you're, you're talking about how to set up, say, WordPress. And you may say, well, if you want to see this, go on to watch video number three. And we're not going to talk about it in the report. And that way you're sort of adding value. You're not doing pages and pages of screenshots and other sort of you know, pretty much useless information in your report. Now, one advantage of writing a report with videos is the report doesn't have to be as long as it will be for a separate ebook. It can be a lot shorter because it's just sort of fleshing out some of the information that's in the, the videos, providing some additional information and not necessarily sort of giving them everything all at once. But it is important that the report adds some value. You know, if it's just a rehash of what's in the, the video, it's not really adding any value. If it's just pages and pages of screenshots showing people how to do what's in the video, again, doesn't really add a lot of video, uh, a lot of value to the video package. So what I find works well in the report is to include information that's hard to communicate in the videos. You know, you would talk about some of the information, but you'd also list sites and show settings and things like that that people may want to refer to. So the videos are going to refer to the report as well. So that's very important for you to do. Now, with a report that comes with a package like this, use some pictures, but don't go crazy. Don't um, you know have loads and loads of screenshots because the video shows them how things are done. You don't need to repeat it in the report. People typically aren't going to print you know 200 pages of screenshots out when they've got a video to do there. So you know just just have the video. You know refer to certain things, reinforce them in the report, but don't go wild with it. Now, what you also need to do is ensure that the report directs people to your website. You can use it to build your list. You can, um, yeah, if people do share it, I know they're not meant to, but some people do. It will funnel people through to your website. And you can also use it to sell the affiliate opportunity, the opportunity to promote your product and make money from it. If you're selling master resale rights, and obviously these two points are very, very important because that's how you get the viral effect. Now also, as a final point, make sure you spell and grammar check it and put in page numbers. People do like to print things out and if they drop them and there's no page numbers, they've wasted their, their printout and they're going to get really annoyed. So just include those, you know, well-written report is going to add some really, really good value. So, you know, add a, a report to your video series and it's really, really going to help. Now, there's lots of options you can use with it. You can make the report perhaps a pre-sale at, say, $7.00 and sell, say, the videos for 47. Um, you know, the videos may then be an upsell or a one-time offer, or the videos may be a bonus, or whatever it might be. There's a lot of options here with having a report as well. I mean, the, you could even do a free report that has master resale rights that's gonna go uh, viral, and it promotes the videos. You know, it talks about stuff, and then refers to the video so that people go through and buy the videos. There's lots and lots of opportunities here for you. 
and you do need to be really creative with it because there's a lot of good things you can do with this report so yeah make sure you include one and make sure it's um, high quality and add some value to the entire package